Thank you. Like Roots One, that Spike Lil is called Astro as well. Yeah, that's nice. It's all right. It's over, it's overpriced though, isn't it? For... It's got Levi Roots face on it. So oh, come on. He created all Caribbean food for white people. He created a sort of salad. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that's that's his drinks are worth it. more money. That's the basis of it, right? He has made the Caribbeans more accessible to, <laughs> to English folk. <laughs> As if you ever need more of that. Um, <laughs> and uh, Jamie Oliver is the trendsetter for um, Italian food somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, well, Italian food, but also he's somehow has the liberty to tell people how to create the perfect jack chicken. Jamie has Oliver. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 that says that. Literally, oh, but he's, a, he's a chef. He has to write the perfect everything, doesn't he? Yeah, but like, his how job. is Jamie Oliver telling me how to fucking cook jerk chicken? Fair, you're not Caribbean. I know, I know. Just because you're black doesn't but, mean you're the worldwide but, black but, man. I have Caribbean friends. So? So do I. So they're My better. best friend's Caribbean. Exactly. That doesn't mean that... So who would you ask for you fucking You don't know who Jamie recipe? Oliver's Who do you ask best for friend recipe? is? Well, let me hear it from his best friend then, <laughs> right? <laughs> his best friend is Levi Root. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were recording all of this. <laughs> no, we weren't. It's a wonderful waste of time. 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 Hello, and welcome to the wonderful waste of time podcast. <laughs> what was that? This what is my little. This, was this like... isn't the proper intro, so I'm doing a little weird intro. Oh, okay, I'm doing a nice subtle. There was, was a problem. Yeah, it was that kind of. It was that kind yeah. of. Yeah. I just you wanted know, to let you know that we did record another podcast and yes. then none of the sound files work. No. All the things that weren't supposed to be recording did record and yes. all the things that were supposed to be recording fucked did it off. Record. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, it did fuck off because it wasn't there in the first place. It just never became. Yeah. Yeah. So the intro, <laughs> the intro that you heard before the music, the little before bit that we normally do, was... Part of what wasn't I thought wasn't recording, yeah. but it turned out to actually be recording. But it was quite good anyway, so I thought I'd use it. So enjoy it, yeah. Enjoy it, people. Um, so this is the wonderful waste of time podcast, the podcast where we look deeper into the things we like, love, and hate. Do you know what I've just realised? Go. You can't say this is the officially the nineteenth. Because, but it is so, because the other well, one doesn't actually exist. It doesn't exist. So this is what? the nineteenth ever. Actually oh, broadcast oh, okay, episode. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Technically, it's the twentieth. Reco- well, it's not the twentieth recorded because it wasn't recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the twentieth spoken. Yes, yes, it's, it's, but it's yeah. only the nineteenth recorded. Nineteenth recorded ever. ever. Okay, that works. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm Cross Draylie, and with me as always is SG. What does the SG stuff. stand for? Today? Um. I didn't know. I, I, you should put me in the spot now. Oh, you should decide. You should decide <laughs> different things for it Whoa. to stand for. Uh, siren God. Siren God. Yes, yeah, because I can make the noise of a siren like a god. <laughs> Look, like the I, horns of Jerusalem. I, but basically, basically with a klaxon. Um, or like an air horn. No, air horns oh! are too. That's 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 a bit too common. It's more like a, more like a heavenly trombone. Heavily trombone. Yes. <laughs> Hark, is that God? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's not quite heavily enough, but we're there. We're, we're there. Yes. <laughs> um, so the way that this podcast works is we spin a wheel to decide which of us is talking about a thing, and then we spin another wheel to decide what topic that thing will be. Whoa. So I think while we spin this, you need to do yeah. your best God trombone. Clearly. Oh. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> Bring in the god trombone <clears throat> and <clears throat> go. <clears throat> oh no, it's very high pitched. What? It's a god there. Uh, hi, hi. You know, like no, they're they're the... physically <clears throat> supposed to be high, not in pitch. <clears throat> Nobody <clears throat> meant that, like, <clears throat> oh the god, oh the gods talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to save you. I created you. You know. <laughs> That's not what it means by them being high. Have you, have, have you high heard? in mind. It doesn't mean they're like really muscular but with high-pitched voices. Okay. 
Well, in that case, you did do everything. Do as I to command. I bet you did everything. To or I'll huh? send you no? to hell. Like, well, it's, it it sounds. Or it the sounds equivalent. A lot, I'm not just specifically like talking lot, about this. Sounds a lot stuff. like a life of um, life of Brian, and that's about a god. Isn't it's it, a very isn't naughty it? boy. It's like, well, it's technically about a god. True. And you it's, know, matching no, the it's not. The it's voices. not. It's not about a god. No, because he's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. I think we should probably it's stop terrible. this wheel at some point. This rules the game for ages. Stop. If someone was watching that, they'll get dizzy. It's me. Yes. So let's find out what kind of topic I'm going to do. Do you know let's what? Let's go for a lower register of trombone. This yeah, time. okay, no, cool, cool. Oh, this is this is the trombone from the depths of hell. Whoa. Yeah. The hell trombone. The hell oh, trombone. Is hell also the same instrument? That's uh, the beauty of it. That's the, it's that's the, same the realism yeah, of it. It's just, it's just the, the good and spectrums. evil both play the same instrument, but yeah. in different ways. Exactly. That's why. Isn't that a know, beautiful metaphor? Heavenly high for pitched for heaven, low pitch for. Oh. You know. All right. Cool. It's that when you hear screamo, it sounds like. Oh, it's a bit offensive. Oh, well, screamos are Satanists now, are they? That's just fucking ridiculous. hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a chainsaw. <laughs> you can that's a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. It's still one high pitch. I don't Cartoons care. slash anime. <laughs> <laughs> There's a T-Rex at the end. Oh, Not T-Rex. A, Scooby a, Velo- a Velociraptor. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, a dinosaur um, noises were so off there. Like, everyone knows a T-Rex doesn't quite carry that same tone. It's got a deeper tonality. This is by a dinosaur. And what, 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 what dinosaur was that? It's a Velociraptor. Okay. But it's just a raptor. Mm. That's how they do it What's on, the on films. What's the difference? Well, the one, one's got more velocity. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's it. There we go. That's your age um, lesson, kids. So, <laughs> yeah. The history of dinosaurs. They make the noises that they do on television and also velociraptors have more oh. have an increase in velocity compared to uh, other raptors. Yes, yes. I think a velociraptor is a specific dinosaur and a raptor is a class of dinosaur. Ooh, because technically okay. uh, hawks are raptors, yeah. predatory birds are raptors. If yeah. we, if we, do you want your little facts here for okay. a second? Yeah, yeah. Some Get types of birds them. are raptors. raptors. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like I've heard them. But a, a velociraptor is a specific dinosaur, dinosaur that has bird. vastly more velocity Veloc- than an eagle. Of course. Of course, that's why. <laughs> Hey, it's Fact Checking Future Cross here to tell you that though birds are supposedly linked to dinosaurs in some way, the reason why raptors are a type of bird and velociraptors are a type of dinosaur is because they just both come from the Latin uh, rapier, which means seize. So birds of prey seizing things and velociraptor means swift seizer, as in it's fast and it also seizes things so it just comes from the same name i don't know if they're linked in any other way but there you go facts have some facts enjoy the rest of the podcast waste of time well, yeah who said this is just entertainment it's education education well. it's, it's, it's about Ed- edutainment edutainment what the hell is that it's, oh it's, education it's, it's a, yeah it's a terrible, terrible thing that people invented that's terrible. it could be I was trying to do it. Ed- edutainment way. is an actual term. It's oh, is for it? Like, yeah, it's real. It's for like kids' television that's supposed to teach them. Okay. Why, why not? Edutainment. Why not? Why not? Oh, what's the other way? Uh, enter. Education? Education? Perverted. Education sounds perverted. <laughs> Entercation. It's like teaching kids how to <laughs> penetrate each other. What's wrong with you? You're disgusting. What the hell? How, how did it go? No, how did how it go dare from? you bring that no. smut on no, this podcast? No, that's ridiculous. I, 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 I'm not even <laughs> going to allow you. I'm not going to allow you to present what I've just said as that. Do, do, that's, me, do you want me to wrong. do my topic? Do you um, tell you what my topic is? Um, sure, why not? Oh, I wanted to talk about... Because it's cartoons and anime I got. Yeah. So for the third time. Yeah. What do you uh, get? Um... Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> um, I cartoons films, and anime. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk about art style. I don't okay. want to talk about a specific cartoon. I just want to yeah. talk about art style in general. Yeah. And how yeah. I think it affects different cartoons. Yeah. Because I know, like, we've talked about Adventure Time before, which yeah. is like a huge cartoon. A lot of people love it. 
I know someone who said that they don't like it specifically because of the art style. I can, and it's someone I who's an animator. Yeah, I can get that. So I think there is like a certain idea of that doesn't look how I like things to look yeah. so they don't oh, watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, this is a great... I yeah, kind yeah. of get yeah. it, but at the same time, that's sh- such a bad thing, isn't it? No, it's not. Have you seen some of the new, like, some of the new Tom, Tom and Jerry's? Yeah. The animation in that. Does that not just put you off straight away? When not it's really. Like, okay. That wouldn't just put me off entirely. I'd still watch the show. If the show was bad and the art was bad, I wouldn't yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with your friend there because the artwork is a very... For me, it's quite it's quite a lot of it, you know? Like, yeah. Especially if you watch anime, like, the artwork is one of those yeah, I suppose it's of it. Yeah, but, I suppose it's more that I like narrative more yeah, than yeah, anything yeah, else. Yeah, I do, yeah. I do, obviously, I care a lot about the art style. I love art. Um, yeah. But I don't, I can't think of a thing, I can't think of a time where I've ever been so put off by a cartoon's oh. art style that I stopped watching oh, it. Oh, right. Oh, but then the you... it's probably realistically... Subliminally, I haven't started watching a cartoon because, because of the art style. Yeah. So maybe yeah. I have been put off by it, but I yeah. don't really. I'm, What's, okay. I'm super aware of it. If you used to say from the art styles, <clears> I mean, it's quite a. I don't know. How, I won't be able to give you correct terms here. Yeah. But what cartoon references? What is your favorite art style? Um, that's quite hard. I haven't really thought about it. Really? My favorite art style in general. Yeah. I like things where. Maybe the characters are a bit simplified, yeah. but there's a lot of detail in everything. I okay. like, yeah. um, to give you comic books that would be a better example, okay. Tank Girl does it, yeah. um, Brandon Graham, who does uh, King City and Multiple Warheads, he's art styles like that. The The characters themselves have got like little details on them, so their face, they're, like how they generally look yeah. is quite simplistic but then they've got all this detail on their clothing and things yeah, written okay. on them yeah, 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 and yeah, all the yeah, backgrounds yeah. are really largely done like that Steven Universe yeah. kind of does that Steven the characters Universe. look a bit they, well they're not that simplified but they've got all these little details so like if you that's, were to draw them right. so, without their clothing if they were to just, if you were to just give them a regular outfit yeah their faces wouldn't be like super interesting it's they've got all this detail on them I think that's what I like okay that's quite... You know what? It doesn't... I think I'm more... I, I don't like the, super real looking people okay, as well. Yeah, Why not yeah, super yeah. into that? So you're not like into that, that kind of 3D animation style? No, I'm definitely... I really don't... I'm, okay. That is actually something is, that puts me off. That's true. Exactly. I hadn't really thought of that. You, thank so you. This is what I, I mean about the... I don't mind 3D, 3D. Yeah. I don't like 3D cartoons. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like... Is Ruby done like that? I feel like Ruby's done like Ruby. that. Ruby. Oh, I don't um, know Ruby. R W B Y. It's spelt really. R W. I think that's in that kind of style. Mm. That really puts me off. Yeah, yeah. Um, like that's there was, true. I hadn't really thought about that. Of, well, you, here's the thing. There's but it's, a lot it's of not the style art style. Really. That's the animation style that puts me off more than the art style. I think the way the characters look and stuff is quite is good. I, it's, it's more the way it's animated that puts me off. But what? What? I don't know. I feel like you have to draw it in a certain way for it to mm. even attain to being put in a 3D you know like I couldn't imagine someone I the designs, in, like, the designs don't have to be vastly different no. to make 3D versions of them yeah okay okay maybe I'm maybe I'm focused on the animation style but I just feel like that that 3D animation thing takes away from any kind of artistic value of content. Yeah. I see. I but some, some cartoons like do it so... and it's fine like Futurama does it sometimes <laughs> Well, well they do it as like it's less, less odd noticeable. little bits. Yeah, yeah it's like, just when it's the ship and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. Like, or even like, do. even, you know, Simpsons have had like spin off episodes where they've done, you know, yeah. clay versions and, you know, that 3D yeah. style. And um, like, as it looked Vince extremely. Time, he's done that as well. Yeah, and as it looked extremely. It's just been uh, interesting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, like, if you get a, a whole series, like, yeah. that, I think it's just so. In the 3D, is a little bit off putting for me. It's off putting, and a lot of cartoons are doing that now. Just, just. Put that one yeah, out there. it's another reason why the kids are getting getting cheated. But it's because they can model it and then just have to keyframe the movements rather yeah, than have yeah, to keep redrawing, drawing, them. drawing, yeah, drawing. Well, I suppose people don't really do that anymore. You're still keyframing; it's just in a different way. It's less drawing, even though it's digital. Yeah, you still draw a lot of things, whereas it would be on a puppet on the three D stuff. It would be yeah. ready made, and then you do the movements for it. So it's more. I, like I, I don't. I don't know if thing. that's easier though. I feel like that must also still take a lot. Yeah, well, that's not about like stop motion, which 
does take a lot of time. Mm. You know, like that. But it's of... not stop motion. You you do point to point. That's how you do keyframing. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to do every step of it. You would just go A to B. Oh, so yeah. if you want their yeah. hand to move all the way up, you don't do every yeah, step yeah, up. Okay, you, you just do roll. down to up. Yeah, yeah, and then cool. it automatically does down to up because it's programmed it's to pro- do okay, that. Cool. Right. So maybe that save time maybe that's why people are doing that more maybe they just think that's wanna, what people are into I don't yeah, know I, 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 I don't want to live in a world where people are just being lazy with my animation <laughs> that's, um, so that's I, I think it's interesting how like there are different art styles that are recognisable for different genres and stuff like that yeah. like when you think about older uh, cartoons like action cartoons they yeah. tend to be more human looking for action cartoons I was thinking about this the action cartoons like, X Men, Spider Man, they're quite yeah. human looking. Even stuff in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as much as they're well, the turtles, characters themselves. they're human. They're more like human shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, like yeah. biker mice from Mars. They're yeah. quite human shaped, even though they're big mice. Yeah, yeah. Compared to yeah. like Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, where they're where they're, they're humans, humans are. but yeah, they're yeah, bendy yeah, yeah, and stretchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're all disproportioned. I yeah. think comedy has a tendency to lean to like an abstract version of a human yeah. whereas action yeah. tends to be a more realistically proportioned version of a person yeah even well, if it's unrealistic so in what they look like yeah 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 I mean like they're usually a lot more told than average the fact that a, a, a big green fucking turtle who eats pizza can yeah. look more human shaped than Finn from Adventure Time yeah. like he's just like a weird stretchy string bean yeah. kid yeah. like his arms curl up when he dances and stuff like that doesn't Finn have the no? He's, no, he he's got he's, he's got, got like little, little ear thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's on his hood yeah, though. Yeah. It's not actually. It's not actually. Is it? He doesn't um, actually have little ears. Uh, he has long uh, blonde hair for most of it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's interesting as well. Yeah, uh, I can't get that actually. I'm just you know what I can't lie. I'm just thinking of how much I don't like 3D animation. <laughs> like, that's what's just uh, like. I also think as much as you can be put off. By a certain art style. Yeah. Having a good art style obviously goes completely the other direction. I think you yeah, can yeah, draw yeah, a yeah. lot of people in. Yeah. By having a good art style. And you kind of need that to make people watch in the first place to see what the narrative is. Because really from like adverts, from like a couple of clips. Yeah. You're not going to be like, oh, this is hilarious. You might go, haha. But it's kind of how it looks and as a whole yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. you want to watch it. Yeah, no, I very much agree. Anime, like, that's the whole thing that feels for anime, isn't it? It's just kind of the yeah. visual element. Flashing and lights. I think some some cartoons go so deep into the art side of it. There, yeah. there are some really just stylistically super appealing looking shows, yeah. like uh, Samurai Jack. Yeah. I think yeah. it's just, it looks really nice. There's a... Um... It's, it's got so much like everything's got corners on it and yeah. stuff like that is very it's edged. got a very distinctive yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I know what you mean yeah, and it's uh, quite, quite a lot of things don't have outlines and stuff like that in the background and stuff like the same as Powerpuff Girls does yeah, it as well yeah. um, I think it's largely the same background style yeah. as much as it's two different creators it might be did Craig McCracken do the art style on sorry I'm I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking like, to the world. I yeah, wonder yeah. if Craig McCracken did some of the art direction for Samurai Jack. Because mm. Craig McCracken created Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he was involved in Samurai Jack in some capacity and that's why there's a similar look. Or maybe the other way round. Maybe Gendy Tartakovsky, who did Samurai Jack, was involved in Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls, Girls in some way. Yeah. I wonder if there's some kind of link over yeah. between them. Oh, who knows? And that's why there's a similar vibe, even though it's different people doing yeah. everything. Yeah, I, I, you know, what? I was so oblivious to that stuff. I just thought it was people from Cartoon Network would create these things tonight. I was oblivious to that. Um, on this subject, though, oh, I think something. Sorry, laptop, incredibly loud. Then go on. So on on this subject, though, something that I'm very much. Um, it's not exactly a cartoon. It's more of a game, actually, but. Mm. On this whole, oh, there's a cartoon I would like to say that I think you would like for this, okay. anyways. But game wise, because I saw an advert actually, let me bring this all the way back, right? Yeah. So I saw, you know, that new Jimmy Fox um, film coming up, Baby Driver, the Edgar Wright film. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Jimmy Fox, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, have you seen the um, poster for it? And the one where it's a gun with the car. No, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's the group of them. It's the group of them. Um, I saw this on the side of a bus 
basically earlier. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like a classic game. poster where they're all stacked up against each other. What game does that remind you of? Um, Grand Theft Auto. Boom. At a distance. Boom. Exactly yeah, which that. Is, which exactly is what it's supposed that. to make you think of. No, no, it is. It is yeah. But I think they, the only reason it'll make you think of that is because they use very similar like art style. You know, like the the kind of glaze on their faces. But it's, uh, it's still not the classic thing you associate with Grand Theft Auto, which would be the grid. The grid? The grid pattern with different pictures within the grid. That's, uh, that's the classic Grand Theft Auto thing. I don't know. I, 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 think, I do get what you mean yeah, though, by looking like, at it. But that's a very classic poster thing. Yeah. The reason why it's similar isn't because that's like Grand Theft Auto. It's because Grand Theft Auto does pictures that look like classic action films. Okay. It's just like the same source influence. All right. Well, I just thought visually... It's like, supposed it to look just... like a classic painted... Yeah, 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 that kind poster. of... Yeah, 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 that kind of essence. Yeah, um, what was the cartoon you were The say? cartoon, it's, um, it's called Summer Wars. Summer and, Wars. Yeah, and it is... Oh, I think I've... It is visually, it is, it is really amazing. You know, a lot of colours going on, the characters are really yeah. out there. It's actually got an element of that 3D. I think it's a little bit... I don't, I'm not oh, I can't can't quite get it in my head, but I think there were bits of it that had that three D kind of animation thing going on. Yeah. But art style, the yeah, colours that really we used, interesting looking. It is it's just I thought it was it was it was an experience watching it as well. Mm. You know, like it was it was very visually strong. Um and like they I think a lot of that was just focusing on the art of it. You know, yeah. and it and it did, it added a lot. Added a lot of value wise to the to the um, anime, yeah, and it's memorable. So no, definitely, I think art, art as an anime fan, I think art is a very, it's quite an important part of it. You know, yeah, because like, the, there is a lot of anime that um, I suppose it's more of an animation thing again. Yeah, yeah, but there are so many animes where it's just a really good drawing with shitty animated mouths on it. Like the Devil Seriously. May Cry anime, yeah, yeah, it's no, exactly it's just, like it's that. Real. Yeah, no, it is, it is and it's of... just like it's a really good picture. But I wish you'd bother to make it fucking move. <laughs> no, 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 it is. I, I totally get that, man. I totally get that. Like, there's, I don't know. I, I know what you mean. It feels like they've gone mean. halfway with it and yeah. then given up. And they're just like, okay, it looks good now. Like that's enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, de- definitely, definitely. <clears throat> um, scenery wise, I'm not sure what. Do you know what I thought was nice scenery wise? Pokemon. Mm. Yeah. Pokemon. Just the really. painted backdrop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot like. It's the two things you wouldn't put together, but Lilo and Stitch has uh. very similar, kind of just very nice painted backdrops yeah. that I like. I, I, I like I, that I, they I, still look painted. I yeah, think that's yeah, what's yeah, nice yeah, about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They don't look like a painting that somebody's outlined to make it more cartoony. Yeah. It just looks like a painting. That's yeah. a very like classic thing. Older cartoons tended to do that. Yeah, I was well talking like, about older cartoons. Older Disney uh, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I was literally like about to say yeah. Winnie the Pooh's like the yeah, well, Winnie the Pooh definitely did the that whole kind of background. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of watercolor kind of painting. Yeah. thing. that was that's actually really nice as well. Actually, Winnie the Pooh stuff tends to be yeah. yeah nice. That's quite interesting actually because now you now you now you brought it up. I'm actually thinking there are a lot of things that I've watched where it is the visual element that I remember yeah. more than anything. You yeah. know, like Winnie the Pooh being a great example. I couldn't tell you anything that happened in Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, but I you remember what it looks like. like. Yeah, visually it's yeah. very nice. You know, like the watercolour stuff. Um, what's that What's that other one? The, um, something under the bridge or something like that. It's animal something down, something... Watership down? Watership down! The rabbits. With the rabbits! The terrifying... Yeah, Watership like, down, man. Rabies film? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that was animated, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, that, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. I, I pretty remember that being... Uh, Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, <laughs> with the ones that had rabies, <laughs> it was fucking I terrifying. Couldn't, couldn't tell you Do you, you not remember that it? bit? No, that's what I'm talking about. I couldn't remember the name from for fuck's that. sake. But I just remember it visually looked really I'm nice. I'm going to show you a picture. In the mid-break, I'm going to show you a picture. Or just <laughs> a scene a of rabies, like, the rabies riddle rabbit. <laughs> yeah. When we come back from the break, you'll you'll know why I'm talking about. Rabbit, <laughs> rabbits. Ra- rabbit, rabbits. Romance, rabbits, rabbits. Jesus. Wow, okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of other shows that I really yeah. like for their animation style. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah. Which is probably my favourite. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything in it looks so, see, so stylized. Yeah. It's so interesting. I just love how everything looks. And I love it's that just... all all the imaginary friends look like they could have been drawn by different people. Yeah, yeah. I love that. There's this kind of and the backgrounds have got yeah. It. The backgrounds look like I don't know. They just 
they they like the idea of what a room looks like. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, no, no, They've totally. kind of yeah, got this yeah, free yeah. form thing. Yeah, of, exactly. It looks like layered paper sometimes yeah. and stuff like that. It's it look, just such a nice art. No, style. no, totally, totally, totally. It gives me this. Um, you know, when you look like a really good sketchbook, and you're like, yeah. that's actually a complete sketchbook. You yeah. still have the sketch feel to it. Yeah, mm. yeah, that that. And yeah. it, also, I like that it looks like whoever did the backgrounds. It looks like they could have shown up with the concepts without knowing the rest of it and yeah, nobody yeah. went we're going to change it to make it look like the rest of it they were just like that looks great that looks nice. let's Ooh. literally just put yeah. that straight into the background yeah no, I, no, I really no. like the way that it looks as a whole and I think it adds a lot to the idea of it because mm. it's supposed to be all these different kids ideas exactly so and that's what they look that like that fluidity to the they all look fluidity. so different from each other yeah um, no, that's pretty cool the, the other one where it was the Adventures of Gumball. What's the actual um, proper name of it? Marvelous Adventures of Gumball. I haven't seen. I've I've got a little bit of beef of that. Why? It looks too clean. I think that's the animation style. Oh, it looks too clean. I really like how it's done. Yeah. Like I've watched a lot of it partially based on the art style. Like I yeah, do. I, I quite enjoy it. So I've I've watched yeah, it anyway. Yeah, yeah. The older stuff I I liked a bit more than uh, the newer ones. Mm. But the art style is so it's so yeah. clever. It, it's apart from the fact that obviously the the main characters are just cartoons. Yeah. But then you have like 3D characters. Yeah. You have yeah, characters yeah. who are made of paper. Yeah. You've yeah, got like a really like well them. animated dinosaur character who's yeah. so differently animated from the rest of them. They all again look like they're drawn in different art styles. All the backdrops are photographs. Yeah. Like composite photographs yeah, 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 yeah. there's really clever ideas for characters like there's a cop who's a donut Gumball is the blue fish the, thing, right no gum he's not a fish he's a blue cat and his his brother is a goldfish okay darwin cool 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 cool, cool, cool. i yeah. have to make sure i'm thinking yeah, about yeah. that so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like so, there's the cop is a donut, yeah, and the the thief that he's trying to catch the most of the time is a fingerprint with the thief is a fingerprint. It's, it's a finger. It's a fingerprint with arms and legs to make it a full person, yeah, and it's got like a mask on, yeah. but it's made of a fingerprint because yeah. it's a thief, and it's just yeah. really clever yeah, no, these little that's ways quite, yeah, of no, putting no, that's everyone together, yeah. It's just like a strange cast of characters anyway. Mm. Like there's one of the school kids is a cloud and one of them's a balloon. And it's just yeah. like so many different ideas as a fucking banana and stuff like that. It's all these different ideas and different ways of drawing people. I think that's really cool. No, no, I get what yeah. I mean like bringing the whole different styles together and all that. That's, yeah. I, I mean, from what I remember... And I think this is more from Gumball, the actual, the main character, the blue guy, yeah, right? the blue cat. I feel like most of the films, all the scenes I've seen them in, it's, they've looked so clean. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if They're it's very a, digital. They yeah. They look very sharp yeah, and HD. Basically, basically And that. I think it stands out more because they're against photographs. Photographs, backdrops. And, I think it makes uh, them look more obviously digitally animated. I think, that, I think that's my That might be what though. puts you off. Yeah. 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 And they, are, you know what? Actually, yeah, you know that's the perfect way of putting it. Digital animation looking too much like there's been. You like more hand drawn. I like. I things. love more hand drawn. I mean, this is me just going back to my yeah. some Looney Tunes. You know, love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I also wanted to talk about how I think having the right art style, yeah, hugely affects like how like having a good art style needs to reflect in what the show is about. If you have like a really good art style. And it doesn't fit the show. It's nowhere near as it's impactful. Not, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, like yeah, what yeah. I was saying with Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, the fact that it's about all these different imaginary creatures makes the art style so much more impressive because yeah. it fits that as an idea. Yeah. And things like uh, Afro Samurai. Yeah. It, they've all got this nice... They're quite pointy, yeah. but they're really flowy in the animation. Yeah. So like his headband flows yeah, and like yeah, Ninja yeah, Ninja's yeah, afro yeah, yeah. has a little floatiness to it. Oh, the, his whole persona's quite, yeah. you know, like, because all his low he's, and... He's yeah, like yeah, smoky. Yeah, like, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 um, yeah. But that really adds to them as characters does, and you yeah, get a much yeah. better idea of them. And the artist that did that, like, who drew them as concepts, yeah. really yeah. clearly knows how to make people look a certain way so that yeah. you, you can understand who Afro is compared to justice just by looking at them yeah 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 um, so, and yeah, he yeah, also yeah. he did a game uh he there's a company called the game bakers who made a game i really like called fury 
Yeah. And he designed all the characters from that Fury, and did the Fury, art for it. Fury. It's so good. I love that game so much. Oh, I'll show you something else. Oh, yeah, okay, right. cool. Um, but yeah, I think that kind of thing really adds to it. And yeah. Adventure Time, so to go all the way back to what we were talking about before, Adventure Time is funny and actiony. Yeah. But it's got more of a cartoon look rather than having that classic actiony look of being uh, like too humany. Yeah. There are yeah. V- vastly less humany looking cartoons now because things tend to do a, a bit of both. Like there weren't really jokes in the X Men series and stuff like that. There were no, jokes, no, but it wasn't no, like yeah. funny. No, no. Like it was more like they'd make a pun, yeah, yeah or yeah, even to go slightly further back, like oh. He Man and Thundercats. Like, yeah, I was going to sound they were only funny Spider-Man out of being yeah. cheesy. Oh, Spider Man did make jokes, jokes but that's as a character. It wasn't yeah, like a comedy yeah, yeah, yeah. show, though, was yeah. it? It's a funny um, character. And to go back to Adventure Time, yeah, I think the reason it works with having this weird style because it does. It's it's quite childish. It's quite yeah. simple yeah. in the way that it's drawn. Yeah. But I think that adds to it because of how depthy and an imagi- imaginative it is. I think that it works because of that animation style. Yeah, I think I, because no, of I think the it, simplistic it lends, nature yeah, no, it of it, anything very can happen too, yeah. and won't look weird. I like the uh, the scenery of it. Like, although I mean, you say it's got this, uh, I guess, less real thing to it, yeah. but I still I think the backdrop. Mm-hmm. I think. It still reminds me of like, I don't know how to put it. It still has this kind of fairy tale look to it. If yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, obviously it's not the typical scenery, but I think they've still mm. kind of captured that kind of. There's a lot of like idyllic looking. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. They're very good yeah. at backdrops in Adventure Time. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I think I like, yeah, I like the fact. Uh, back, background art's a thing that not everyone thinks about. When I you look so. at a show, that is so much like a big part of it because it is literally all the space that's, on the screen that's yeah, not characters. That's not character. <laughs> but you, you, you don't always think about it. No. But if you just literally, you can just go online and just look at different backgrounds Back from up, shows. Sure. And so, so many like just phenomenally drawn backgrounds. Steven Universe, I was talking about earlier, has got yeah. so many really, really well drawn backgrounds. Like um, they live in a house under like a big statue. And if you just look at just the picture of that, it's so well done. Sure. It's so detailed, like the That's stuff I was saying before, where it's like a quite open space and there's all this like space of just like a colour or just a gradient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then this one thing that's really well detailed and that's the kind of thing that I I find really appealing. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's like loads of other shows you could go into that <laughs> yeah. like I think is vastly an- uh, vastly added to by the animation but, yeah. and the art style. No, very much. Well, uh, yeah, they are. There are a lot. Uh, none that I that spring into mind is is just for the art style. Because I think for me, if you're looking at the anime side of things, mm. there's a there's a specific. If you look, okay, like say that this. My brother used to draw anime, right? He used to draw yeah. anime characters, and because there's very specific things how the eyes need to look, yeah, and how the a- anime has like, kind of got a close, is yeah, it's got a closely you, related style, yeah. But there are a lot of animes out there that do break the mold very well, yeah, and do kind of get more experimental with what they do. Mm. But I think as a whole, there's still quite a similarity. More, yeah, more so, more, more so yeah. than you would get in, I guess you know, I guess Western, Western animation. Yeah. There's more of a kind of link to how. Yeah, most but there is look. a certain idea of how things are supposed to be drawn in anime, and I yeah. do think as well. I can't remember his name. The guy that designed Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So many people are. That's what people think of when they think of anime. Is that, no, of course, yeah, that yeah, look. yeah, yeah. The and I hair, think a lot the hair of along, yeah, like, you know. I think a lot of anime and manga since then, he's is trying that, to be you know kind what? of like. No, that. I, I agree with you because if you look at old anime, like okay, say take Berserk for an example. Berserk is um is uh, uh old old anime um, animations um series right? Yeah, it's it's drawing style is very much like. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like I feel like I need I need correct terms for this, but the drawing style for it is very much like so. Berserk is based in the what century is this? I don't know. It's just, it's the century where you've got knights and you know medieval. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere in the past. It's that one. Um, I think yeah, yeah. We've got medieval. We've got medieval. Um, yeah, and but the the. the the style of the drawings is very much like I don't know. It feels like they've looked at old medieval tapestry 
and they yeah. brought that out. You know, they, yeah, I'm, really... I'm, I'm looking at pictures of it at the moment. It is very different from yeah, yeah. what you imagine. Exactly, and like it's that not, it's not a, like typical anime. It's not style. typical anime at all. It's um, clearly European influence. On yeah, it. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I like that. I I, I really like the. Um, really I like nice. the. I like the with. Um, with uh, the style of the... And then you get, like, even... I guess, actually, you know what? You think about it. It's really interesting you said that now. Because I think about the old... The older the anime I watch, mm. like, it is quite different. Like, if, yeah. if, you, if you even look at... Um, uh, even Akira. Mm. Even Akira and um, what's the Ghost of the Shell. Even, th- like, those, yeah. those are very... They are, I like those as well. Because they've got this essence, watercolour essence to them. It's quite mm. a dulled down... It's not too much of the colour, but... You know, they, 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 it's not gloomy, but it's like, you know, like, oh, it's hard to explain this. I'm doing terrible with it, but it's got this kind of glossed, no, matte look to it, you know, rather than glossy. It's more yeah. kind of, you know, grainy, and I like that as well. But the character, the style of the drawings are very, I guess, more realistic, mm. actually, in a sense. Uh, in Akira, not so much because they've got some weird, weird ass characters in yeah. there, but the main characters usually have this kind of, quite realistic look to them and then there'll be an element of them that's yeah. out of the norm if you know what I mean so the shape of the body and stuff will be quite human yeah they are they're very they have... human like just the characters themselves yeah but obviously they've got like cybernetic exactly stuff and things exactly like that. that exactly that and I think yeah. a lot of anime was that from the beginning you look at um Evangeline Evangeline which is robots you know and these are these are like these are these are um these are like founded Anime Evangelion Evan- Evangelion I think that's the one the, the robots and stuff yeah yeah these are but these are found in animes these are like early mm. early developments and I think like you said it's just because some animes like Dragon Ball Z which don't really popular in the western world yeah. then brings out a lot more yeah imitation but no no you know what like, yeah yeah and they're even more so Akira and Berserk yeah. I like that style. I like that yeah. style of and I think I, without color. even watching it, from you saying what Berserk is about and looking at the animation, you can tell that sense. that adds so much to what it's going to be. Exactly. That it's about knights and they look like European knights, even though it's yeah, Japanese yeah, yeah, animation. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. Exactly that. I, that that's yeah. exactly what I'm talking about, essentially, yeah. is that I feel like those kind of little influences and choices in the direction of things make a huge difference and to go yeah. the other way around well not European to Japanese but American to Japanese yeah Powerpuff Girls obviously is designed to look kind of like it's got chibi anime. sort of anime children yeah, 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 they've yeah, got yeah, a very yeah. Japanese yeah, like sense the to big them big eyes and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah very and, much yeah and there's nothing about it that says it's supposed to be Japanese it's no. just it just does yeah. There's something in the way that they're drawn that kind of does make me think uh, of. For me, it's the eyes. It's the, it's the, it's the, the kind of yeah, the big, the big face, eyes, big eyes like that. That, that really. But it does in the bad that. characters as well, who don't always necessarily have big eyes. Yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, well, Jojo is quite interesting. For yeah, um, he, it's it's because he's a, he's a bit like um, a Dragon Ball Z character whose name uh, is it Piccolo uh, that wears um, what the, the Piccolo the, the, wears yeah, purple yeah, yeah, and yeah, turban yeah, 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 like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Mojo Jojo, yeah. so there are signs of some links between yeah. I mean, them. Piccolo was tall and green, but I got you mean. No, yeah, I totally got what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, who would win, Piccolo or Mojo Jojo? <laughs> Mojo Jojo, clearly. <laughs> it was <laughs> long. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It will nag Piccolo to yeah, nag Piccolo to death or something. Piccolo will just give up and go to. Um... <laughs> what are you, musical instrument? Ah! Oh my god, Piccolo! Yeah, oh, so it's Piccolo musical instrument. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. There you go. Um, fun facts, random fact that I know, even though I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Do you know like a load of the characters are named after breakfast foods? No. And stuff like that. Oh, that's totally a, a thing. I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, but it's well, a thing that you can't. It's a thing that, that someone not... that knows a lot about. Oh no! Also, isn't lo- loads of them are named after like bits of clothing, um, I can't, I can't, like like, I like can't. trunks. Yeah, um, yeah and yeah, there, yeah, there yeah, are yeah, some yeah, other ones yeah. that are named after like bits of clothing. Oh, okay, it's like this really cool. weird thing. Oh, um, I, I didn't know. I didn't know this. I I know about three characters in Dragon Ball Z. Well, one of them's Gohan. One of them's we, Goku. We were... <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I've got some God listed. So Bardock. 
Is there what's, a character called a Bardock? Bardock? What's a Bardock? Um, a pun on a Japanese vegetable, what it says. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, right. There's, there's going to be Japanese um, episodes here, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anime. <laughs> Shockingly. Yeah. Um, it says that one of them's named after Parsley. Is there a character called Kale as well? Sure. So they, it <laughs> so just, I say it's sure, just, like, Vegeta, Vegeta is obviously Vegeta. supposed to be one What's as well. That? Vegetables. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like his, his name is literally Vegeta. Vegetable. <laughs> oh, did I just took the B A E? That's literally what it's supposed to be. Oh wow. Um, what else does it say? Bargos is a pun on potato. Broly is a pun on broccoli. Oh, oh, oh. Cava oh, is broccoli. cabbage. Cauliflower, it says. Whoa. Cauliflower. What? Yeah, so a lot of them are supposedly named after food. Like, just loads of vegetables, it seems like. I thought it was breakfast foods for some reason. Well, it's just, but it's just, it's just foods. Oh, okay. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. That is a random fact. That is random as, as hell. Like, um, Also, Gohan is Japanese for rice. Oh. So that's yeah. like the main character. Oh, yeah, so yeah. That's yeah. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> there you go. Well, it was... Um, so technically, people think they've been watching Dragon Ball Z, they're but they're really, really, really they know the names good. of a lot of yeah, food. They're, they're just really being served the menu. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is, it's, they're yeah. going to go to Japan. Dragon Ball Z, it's what's for dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're going to go to Japan and there's going to be a restaurant called Dragon Ball. <laughs> and then the fast food version is going to be Dragon Ball Z. So, you know. I like that as well. That's, that. Is that the bad, yeah, the bad guy with um, the third eye? Tien. Yeah. Uh, Tien Shenhan. Is that, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name properly. Ah. Uh, that means fried rice. Okay. Brilliant. Well, there you go. Love it. There you go. So there were, there were like, so there were some Japanese folks just watching this having an absolute laugh to themselves and here we are. No, I don't know. Are they called the same thing in Japan? Maybe oh, they're not. Not. oh. Oh, here's another one. So yeah, like trunks being named after, supposedly named after like boxer shorts trunks, essentially yeah, yeah, supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, Bulla is a shortening of bra in Japanese, essentially. Um, it's a Trust. shortening of, it says, yeah, of bra. Um, oh, their, their word for Yeah, bra. so I, yeah. I can't go through this. There's a massive list of characters. There's so many what? fucking characters. Seriously? In. But yeah, a, a lot of them are, their names are puns and stuff like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. I like when, like, I like hmm. when uh, Bojack, right? Bojack yeah. does that very well. So good. I love that. Um, so, like, I'm so Princess happy. Princess Caroline and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The fact that she is named, like, a, a cat name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my favourite is the two... Um, Mr. Peanut Butter, actually. Well. Yeah. Two pigeons? The the, the birds. Two, the, 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 not pigeons. Oh, the paparazzi pigeons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they're just great. <laughs> they're <laughs> great. Like, there's a lot of great puns in that. A lot of great puns in that. But I like I like films that do the films. So I like films that do that. Yeah, kind of, you might as well play with the names of you know have fun with it. So they're not pigeons. It's a blue jay and a robin. Blue jay and a robin. Oh, okay. Um, cool. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're at the halfway mark. Yeah. But yeah, just to sum up Bring after that, all yeah. that other yeah, stuff yeah, about yeah. <laughs> naming things after things. Yeah, I just think if you if you are interested in cartoons and you want to make your own cartoon, yeah. you should think about, don't don't just draw to your art style. Obviously, everyone has an art style, yeah. but you need to draw to what you're writing. Yeah, yeah, no, very much so, very much I so. I think you, you need to add to it. Yeah, yeah. You need to add to what you're writing. They should, they should complement, they should complement yeah. each other. Like, yeah, you can't, you can't have like a story about medieval creatures and then it looks like fucking Transformers or something. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, no, totally, totally. Like, yeah. Yeah, a, co- a comedy, like a 90s comedy cartoon yeah. drawn in the same way as Biker Mice from Mars or yeah, exactly. Thundercats would be less funny because they're all like weird humans. Yeah. It would work now as like a parody, but at the time it wouldn't have worked. No, I don't think it would now. Or, I, mean, or I, I would argue that it does for things like, have you seen Mike Tyson Mysteries? What? <laughs> what? Um, this is a thing? It, it's basically Scooby-Doo with Mike Tyson, a ghost, a talking pigeon... And his adopted daughter. Oh, um, I'm, not I'm the no, pigeon's adopted I'm daughter, Mike Dyson's I'm adopted no daughter. I'm, I'm no um, yeah, I'm it's no basically words. Scooby-Doo. So I'm it all no looks words. like Scooby-Doo, the animation style yeah. is very much like it, but it's very funny. Okay. Mostly because, well, obviously, it's the Mike pigeon's Tyson. the funniest character. Is, is it actually but, um, Mike Tyson? Yes, yeah, Mike Tyson. Yes. Him. 
And, yes. uh, and it looks like Mike Tyson, obviously. He's got oh the, What's it he's got the tat- Mike Tyson, Tyson mysteries. I'm so honest. Yeah. I'm so honest. Um, so I do, I do think it can sometimes work if it's a parody. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, if it's yeah, just yeah. a straight thing, then I don't think it works. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's it for the first half. We'll be back after a short break in which SG is going to watch the rabies scene of Watership Down. Cool. This is interesting. See you in a sec. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm excited. It's a wonderful waste of time. And welcome back. So, what did you think of Watership Down? Crazy. Crazy. Didn't remember it like that, did no, you? No, and that was like, that was half scary. <laughs> it was <laughs> actually it's half it's scary. It's a blood fest. It is, no, genuinely, like, there was just yeah. rabbits. All oh, the rabbits right, like, really fucked up. I did, the rabbits were so violent, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's Yeah, there, there's crazy. dogs and the cat. The rabbit looks scarier than the dog, man. Like, the dog the looks violent. Oh, yeah, the train. <laughs> but yeah, the rabbits are very violent towards each other. No, the rabbits are genuinely, there was a dog that looked violent, but then there was a rabbit that looked violent and crazy. The, <laughs> so it was like, the rabid rabbit. The rabid ra- rabbit. The bad rabbit from the yeah. film, the rabid one. The rabbits. Who was a dick oh, before he became crazy, man. rabid as well. I kind of made me want to watch it again, though. Actually. I, 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 feel I, like I kind of like to watch it. I haven't it. watched it in a very long time, yeah. but it's very messed up. Yeah, I feel like I underestimated what it was, you know. You um, see it as a kid, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. animation. Exactly. You were, yeah. you were too innocent to recognise what it was, or yeah. did it mentally fuck you up forever? Maybe maybe that's why I just couldn't remember it. Maybe that's why it took me so long to remember it. I'm like, no, you're meant to be, you know, guarding your memory from this. It's yeah, you blocked you. it out. Yeah. yeah, but there we go. Open a um, new avenues of mine. Let's spin the wheel again. Spin. Um, and this time, yeah. would you mind making the noise of a rabid rabbit? <laughs> I don't even know, like, let's, let's Just try. make some angry let's rabbit noises. Yeah. Go. That's good. It's a bit Taz from Tasmania. Stop. It's you. Cool. I'm going to do this whole bit as the rabbit rabbit. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> and so it's 30 minutes of... Go. Yeah. It's getting like an angry little dog now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, music. Again, oh, you said to me earlier geez. you didn't think you'd done music. This is the fourth time you'll be doing fourth music. Fourth time I'm doing music. Great, because I music have Music slash poetry. Because I have four things written in my music bit. Yep. Definitely. Cool. I'm not saying you have to do four topics right now. I'm um, saying this will be the fourth. This will be the fourth. Yeah. Um, cool. Right, so... Right, well, well, what I do want to talk about, actually, this is something I was thinking about uh, in the last... Since Drake's last album come out, basically. Mostly since Drake's come out, but it's just the... Since, since, since he's here. Since, since Drake has been... No, no, since he's... Because, um, you know, he started at the bottom. But now, now he's here. God, oh my God. So you want to start from when he's here. Or do you want to start from the bottom? <laughs> no, I want to start from about the midpoint, which is when he's... So po- the, bo- the bottom is probably... The TV show exactly, down. exactly, exactly. Just as his musical one career, his music career starts to take and he was And he was championed as the guy who does chick songs, right? He does a lot of songs for chicks, which I have... A little bit of resentment for the birdie song. Oh no! It's, it's, <laughs> not <laughs> chicks like that. <laughs> not, not, not chicks as in poultry, <laughs> as in chicks as in the female. Oh, is that yeah. what people mean when they yeah, say yeah, chick? Yeah, yeah, I always yeah, just yeah, assumed yeah. they were talking about yeah, chicken. No, I no, thought it was what no, was no, for no, dinner. No, no, no. Although no. chicken. <laughs> chicken, much like Dragon Ball Z, is what's for dinner. <laughs> Oh, you get some side you get some chicks with a side of Vegeta. On, on a, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good because Vegeta sounds a bit like a vagina as well. Oh, that's um, not what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, okay, kind of does. I get where you go. I get where you go. Sounds a bit like a vagina. No, 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 no. Um, but no, but my I meant vegetables, but okay. But I meant... <laughs> Degrassi, that was the. Or Degrassi. Degrassi. Isn't that, that isn't was that show? show? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, yeah. I was like, well, I, was just I thought out. he was naming more Dragon Ball Z characters. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's favourite Dragon Ball Z character, Degrassi. Oh, dude, like, you know, this one after vegetable, the grass doesn't sound like a farm. Yeah, know, like, just uh, grassy would work. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like a, <laughs> a, a grass type Pokemon. <laughs> 
we really <laughs> ran out of ideas yeah, yeah. when we came up with this one. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, what I, the issue I have with him being championed as, you know, someone who does only girl songs is I don't think he does female orientated songs. I think he just has more of a relationship and love element to his music, right? Mm. But then let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to, you know, the Supremes and, you know, the Isley Brothers. And no one's saying they made chick songs, but they made songs exclusively about love. They made songs exclusively about feelings. They made yeah. songs exclusively about relationships. In fact, the majority of the songs they made were about that. But there weren't. Yeah, but there were of people that kind of time period. Made yeah, it was it was love. It was a lot. A lot of the stuff they talked about like was you know it was love songs. Yeah. It was relationships. It was you know it, it was things people could actually relate to rather than fucking flashing all your money all the time. But anyways, I'm really annoyed that now people can't make love songs without them just being put in this bubble where your music's only for females. What kind of bullshit is that? That men do people can't... say that that it's yeah, only so... supposed to be f- okay, for okay. females. It's not okay. It's not only for females because it's music. There's no such thing as yeah. it's just for. But I think the fact that that, that lot, they that do Drake, what that's who they're trying to appeal that's, to. Yeah, yeah. They feel like they're yeah. pandering. Yeah, like 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 Drake making songs about the female body and relationships means he's only making songs to targeted to towards tar- a female yeah. audience. And that's like. I think that's bullshit. Mm. One, because the amount of guys that love Drake, <laughs> like, yeah. the amount of guys that will li- literally put Drake on, listen to his music all day, and then be like, oh, but he needs to stop making chick songs. And it's like, yeah, even though so they're what, still what listening are you? to the like, Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, so like, uh, you're not, but it's just, I don't know, I, I think we've, we've got to this point in, um, in the, I think we've gone backwards, basically, in, in, in our, in our, um, how do I word this? So you know this whole you know equality for the, mm. for the for the masses, you know, be it gender or whatever. I think in certain areas we've gone backwards, but it's become a norm. It's become so filtered in our social kind of upbringing mm. that we think it's normal to say that because someone is singing about love and they're male, that mm. means they're making. Because look, if like Beyonce, right? Hmm. Uh, okay, she's a yeah, female no, singer. Nobody ever says Beyonce's writing dude songs. Boom. Even though it's all crazy in love, drunk in love. Yeah, like, well, no, she's, <laughs> she's got... Okay, she does like, a lot say, of um, things in love. Yeah, yeah, she's, exactly. She's got a lot. But even, but even some of her songs... And if uh, they um, like it, they should have put a ring on it. They, oh, my God. Dad, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> all the single ladies. <laughs> you can tell how much I listen to Beyonce. <laughs> Oh, also, yeah. you can tell that oh, I yeah. know enough about Beyonce oh, yeah. to have made all these puns. Yeah. Whereas I clearly don't listen to any <laughs> Drake, Drake, which no, is why no, I've not no, made no, any jokes make, so far. Any, any of the Drake puns there? You had a few you could have went through. Oh yeah, I had there. a couple. Yeah, he no, started no, no. from the bottom and that. Oh, yeah, you know, you, you got, you got that, you got that. That was um, good. Best I ever had. There would have been a hotline bling at some point. Really? I don't know how. But even hotline bling, how is that a girl song? How like he's I, talking I about being a womanizer. I didn't know that song was for anyone. Oh no, no, South Africa is a great song. I don't. <laughs> Love and when I hold my please. Think it's just <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, it is a womanizing song. It's a womanizing song. So it's not for women. Yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah, you've got this whole generation of you know Drake makes chick songs and okay, it's like okay, let's bring it back. Bring it back, Little Wayne, right? Lil Wayne made a lot more, in my in my view, made a lot more sex orientated songs or whatever. Mm. But he would put like, okay, um, what's that song that they all done with their young? Do you think that part Bedrock. of it is because Drake gets vastly more female attention anyway? No, do I, you don't think, think, I don't think that's because, a, that, 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 that makes no sense because. Like, but do you not think that that's why people think that he's pandering to a female audience because his fem- his audience happens to be largely female compared to what you're talking about Lil we're Wayne talking, we're talking, whose audience is mostly men I think Drake's audience is a lot more male than people would like to admit Cause, because no no just, or, just okay, just or then the like, idea of his audience no but this, 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 but this is why I don't this is, this is what I'm this is what I'm arguing is why do people think that it's mostly women that listen to Drake mm. when half of the people that I see literally banging out his shit are males like, the majority of people that will talk to me about Drake are males, 
right? The, like people who's gonna quote his lyrics on certain songs are males, right? Mm. So I don't get how because he's made songs talking about relationships, he's not an exclusively I just talk about girls or whatever. Mm. But because in the in the, in the genre he's in, yeah. he is he's not. Yeah, it doesn't it is, shy it is away. Also a genre thing as well. It is, it? but this is what pisses me off. Because if he was in a boy band, no one would bring it up. Exactly, either. exactly. Nobody this is says what... that take that only make yeah, but songs, exactly. songs about women. Yeah, when... nobody brings that up. It's just they're a boy band. They're just a boy band, so it's. I think it is to, uh... the specific nature of what of the, his of exact the genre. situation is. Yeah, well, I, I, I still don't agree with that. I know I don't agree because with it. Like... I'm just saying I think that's why I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 trying to explain you're why. Trying to explain I think why. It yeah, and but I think it's a dangerous kind of. It's a it's a dangerous notion that mm. if someone comes out and starts talking about relationships and stuff like that, it's not seen as a normal. You know, he's he's still rapping. Yeah, you know, like some of the songs he does, I wouldn't say exclusively for within the hip hop arena mm. or within the rap arena, but he still very much embodies that. Even in his new album, I think he very much embodies that hip hop. A little bit of the rawness, actually. Like, great flow, great delivery, amazing lyrics. It's just a majority at some po- at one point, not even now, at one point, mm. the majority of his songs were very. The, the, the subjects were focused on relationships, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't think they were just about goals, it's just the subjects of them were focused on the relationship arena or, you know, I've been messed around or I won't mess you around or, yeah. you know, we've been through this before. You know, it's, it's yeah. that kind Which of thing. Which is in no way the first person to do a career that's no. largely that. No. Even if right. you go back, like, what is it, like 50, 10, 15 years. No, I mean, like, most, okay. most of Nelly's songs yeah. were that. Yeah, most of Nelly's songs and were that. And I don't that. think yeah, anyone yeah, yeah, really brought, so. uh, That's the person even, I can think of who did the most yeah, of that. Yeah, but even like, okay, mind. This this is one thing that this is one of the reasons I started thinking about it, right? Fifty Cent. You think Fifty Cent? A lot of people think gangster rapper, right? Mm. You, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I right. think shit video games. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had to think. He had, oh, you did have a game, didn't you? He, he, no, shit. Oh no, he had two. Oh, they bought another one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, you've got money to waste. Why not? <laughs> you, know, you want to fuck money, but but yeah. this is the same guy who made and by and I think this is one of the greatest. Love rap songs ever. Can't 21 shop. questions. <laughs> <laughs> he let her lick the lolly. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting it. That was so good. <laughs> go ahead, girl. Don't you stop. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. 21 questions, man. 21 questions. I don't remember 21 questions. Uh, um, I remember 21, 21 seconds by... Um, and about us. So, like, the whole song is him asking this mm. girl that if I was this, if I was that, would just do Love Me, right? Which is soppy and yeah. great. I think it's a great song. Yeah. And it's not that far off from what Drake does. It's like, yeah. Drake's obviously got his own style to it. But, same way, Drake also doesn't just do girl songs. Drake's got, like, um, what's it called? What's that song he done with Eminem and whatever? Um... Ah, oh, it's like uh, I'll, I'll this is why I need to get my names right. But he's not he's not champion. Uh, this may not ain't nothing to y'all, but understand that's nothing not what came up for yes. me. Uh, 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 uh. He also, oh, forever. He also did forever. Yeah, forever, that's why. Forever, I forever, come that's up. what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever, he's forever. also got uh, Lil Wayne and Kanye West. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah forever, forever's the one. But it, songs like that where he's he's not talking about goals at all. He's talking mm. about his career, right? Yeah. So how comes 50 Cent mm. could do Candy Shop 21 questions, but because he had a vest on, a bulletproof vest on yeah. at one point, he would never be considered as a female, uh, you know, as, as an artist that, that adheres to the female audience. Yeah. Whereas Drake, who equally is as versatile, who equally has drifted to different kind of subject areas, mm. he's still... And, and I think this is something that can only happen now where we've got this hyper macho... I, I wonder if it's also like a when it happens in their career kind of thing as well. Maybe it's because earlier... You, you associate people with what their earlier stuff is. You yeah. still look at Eminem now and you still think of Slim Shady. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, the reason yeah, yeah. you think of 50 Cent as bulletproof vest wearing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, that's in, where, in that's the where club it came out. Yeah, that's where it came out. Because that was his early stuff. I yeah. wonder if it's because Drake's earlier stuff is the, is that stuff. 
don't that's know. why even though he's t- gone away from it a bit, I, that's still what people think of him as. I um oh, I, I remember he's, he's no, 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 like, no, 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 yeah. no. That is, I think that's yeah. that's that's something we could you could attribute it to if it wasn't for the fact that a lot of I think his breakthrough stuff was quite, I guess, relationship orientated. But I yeah. think a lot of his earlier stuff wasn't. Mm. A lot of his earlier stuff was kind of that um, young money, flashy, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a young guy coming up in the world kind of style. Mm. Which, again, it, it doesn't lend himself to this this over... I don't know. This, this, I, just hate, I hate people that call Drake a soft rapper or he just makes songs for the girls or he's just talking about... Because I personally think Drake's amazingly talented. Like, mm. And I, I, I'm, I'm, like, as a rapper alone... Forget as a songwriter or as an entertainer, but as a rapper alone, Drake is a killer. He's a beast. He, there's one song he's got with Rick Ross where he's ripping shit apart. <laughs> like mm. he is rip. I think it's Dance Pineapples actually, um, and he's just ripping it. He's ripped it. So what? I don't know. I I, I I don't know. I think it's just it's just a reflection of the this over macho social conditioning within hip hop at the moment. Yeah. Where I I I would argue that's not an at the moment thing. Okay, in, okay, in yeah, terms yeah, yeah, of yeah, hip hop, yeah, I think yeah, that has okay, always yeah, been there's, a there's been a as a hip hop cultural thing. I think that's that has always been maybe a dominated. If there is a very fragile masculinity. In there, <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like that term, but <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, okay, no, no, like, yeah, yeah. There, there is, there is this over macho essence that comes yeah. out of um, certain from, from what you were know, saying like, who, who would you say who would you say has this over over macho fin that has like oh like literally everyone come on like the vast majority of people I feel like if if Method Man yeah mid Wu-Tang yeah had started being all lovey-dovey it would have been a bit weird you get that I think <laughs> I think for most hip hop people, they can do that kind of stuff, and there's some of them, loads of them have done it brilliantly. Yeah, but in a way that feels true to them. That's yeah, like the yeah. James Blake song that has RZA on it. Yeah, is really nice. Okay, I think a lot of people have done it, and it's fine. Um, but I do think there's okay. an overall thing of people want to appear tough a lot of the time in hip hop stuff. But okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna break this on on two levels, right? So if we if it on that whole thing of if you know method mid Wu Tang come out or something like that, mm. yes, it doesn't work when you're in a fucking rap band where it's just a bunch of guys, mm. right? So NWA couldn't have done a love song, all right? Yeah, they couldn't have done another song. Wu Tang couldn't have done a love song. Mob Deep. I don't mean them really. as a group. I mean no, but, but, no, no, but, but because because of the I don't know why because I've of chosen the specifically method man. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, yeah, to yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair though, I mean, old Dirty Bastard already did a love song, anyways, and it was yeah. fucking great. The first so, time <laughs> ever you searched my dick. I was thinking more. Hey, dirty. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's cool. <laughs> Oh, love all day. But anyways, like those groups, because of I guess the message and the wider message that they portrayed, yeah, they couldn't exactly, you know, during as an image thing, they couldn't, they couldn't have made mm. girl songs because they're talking about the or streets. Even, even with someone that's on their own, then even if what? Eminem could write a like romantic song, yeah, but if it was in the way that Drake does stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't think it would have been well received no, that's because not that's not what they doing what Drake from does. Him. Yeah, but like, no, I don't mean if he it brought out literally just brought out a Drake song. Yeah, I mean in that general style, the style, the sort of singing. I think it would have been abnormal rap because the style of him is crazy. Possibly could yeah. kill a man. Yeah, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, is yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I know. I get, entirely get where you're coming from, and yeah. I agree with you that it shouldn't be a problem. But I think what I'm was trying to lean towards is that I don't think the problem is the artists. I think it's very much a fan based problem. Yeah. And I think the, the mas- fragile masculinity thing that I was talking about yeah. is that very much a fan problem and people saying that they're not into Drake who are actually into Drake and yeah. think of him as a female thing. I think that is Again. S- scared emasculated. Yeah. Men yeah, are okay. like, they yeah, don't want to yeah, be yeah, thought yeah, of yeah, as a person yeah. who's into Drake because that's because a women's is, yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's just a general male problem. It anyway. is. Well, it is. But it, 
I don't know when it became so I think that's the sin still because, a problem in hip hop culture. Well, I don't there's know le- either, because it's like less you get so like, with other people. I like. I think, I think in rock music, it's vastly less of a thing because I think there yeah. are a lot more rock love songs. Yeah, and it's vastly more accepted. I okay. just think it's less accepted in hip hop, which is definitely a problem. It is a problem. It is. I think. Okay. I think one of the reasons that I think is a big problem is because the infiltration. If you look at where hip hop came from, mm. the music that gave birth to hip hop was that soul, jazz, and yeah, all of these things that very much spoke Disco. exclusively of love. Yeah, you know, like the, like the whole. A lot of the genres that brought yeah disco hip-hop. and soul less so jazz but disco yeah, and soul yeah, yeah. are largely romanticized Ro- yeah yeah oh uh, yeah disco more the, the I guess the rhythm of the beats was was mm. the big carrier but yeah you know no, but like, the, the lyrics the, there the is lyrics, essentially yeah, 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 soul yeah, yeah, music yeah. with a beat is yeah 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 that's basically what disco is and it, and it is and it was built on love yeah. it, you know like all all the most of the samples that people use, in fact, like most mm. of the hip hop samples are from love songs. <laughs> like, true, like yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, there's, it, it just speaks volumes to why this is an issue of you can't even truly, uh, um, truly accept the roots of your music if you can't accept the fact that, you know, these are subject areas that, that you, you should be talking about. And this is why I love artists, like certain artists, like, so the roots. Yeah, like I'm, I'm literally searching the roots oh, right. at the moment <laughs> right, yeah, to find yeah. the lyrics to "You Got Me." Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is that is the that Erica the, Badu the Erica one? Oh, yeah. Love that song. Love that song. It's such a good song. Uh, yeah, no, that's so weird. I was literally searching the roots. Yeah, yeah. See, they they do love. I'm just saying because I don't think they're they're not. They're obviously they are a hip hop group, they're, but they're also they're a jazz group. They're, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, they're they're, like, they're amazingly, they're, amazingly uh, talented. They're back. eclectic. As yeah, well. <laughs> like no, no, fair enough. Oh, and then, again, but then you look at Outkast then. Yeah, look, if you look at Outkast, that's true. Got a lot he's, of he's, songs. he's more acceptable with yeah, Outkast. Exactly, songs. and like, but if, but I think even there are some, there are some. I think it's if you're presenting an image as being a tough person or something like that and then you go the other way it doesn't really work which I don't, I don't think know. Drake ever yeah, has Drake's never been like so I don't see why it's the thing with him maybe I don't know is it because of people that he's around I, I'm trying but to even, think even, no, 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 is no, 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 it because I know. he does songs with Little Wayne and Eminem okay, cool. that so people think he's supposed to be like them, he's the softer even though that's kind of, not who he is yeah, so yeah, yeah, by yeah, comparison yeah. he's the softer he's, version yeah okay maybe okay okay maybe actually that's that's a that's makes a little bit more sense when yeah. you look at it that way is in comparison to where because obviously if you look at the, even the 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 uh, label he came from Young Money mm. right that's Birdman's label right Birdman is like you know tattooed up to his face you know proper like his old stuff was very road very street very mm. gangster um, Little Wayne even though I've never seen Little Wayne as a gangster because he was rich by the age of nine you know <laughs> like even, even though even though yeah. but the image you know yeah. before he started becoming a skated dude that he never was like the image was very much mm. young thug you know yeah. like that kind of you know young that's how it presented himself. that was yeah so so I guess in a direct comparison to the the people the other stars on his label mm. yes he is the softer yeah. He's the softer approach, but I don't know. I want, I want someone who I'm trying to think of a label who's who's done this or a group who've done this who were very quiet, harsh, but then someone broke through and had more of a softer. Okay, Rockefeller, right? Let's just look. look actually, what we're not even talking about. Let's talk about Biggie. Let's talk about Biggie, right? Because mm. Biggie, right? Half of his songs were fucking stick up songs, right? Yeah, but then. I love you when you come with big pa pa. You know <laughs> that's that's a nice song. Me and my bitch is a beautiful song, right? I know, I know. It's called Me and My Bitch, but he is talking about his, yeah. how much he loves this one girl who would do anything for him. Who's yeah. he's like he, she's down for it all, but it's a love song, mm. you know. Like so, even even someone like Biggie, who yes, he does it in his own style, but he's still very much. I don't think I don't think there's much of a difference between what Biggie and Drake talk about. Mm. I, I'm being real here. I'm, I'm like, okay, yes, Drake's 
because of the age or the of the generation has come out, Drake's music sounds a little bit more digital, has a little bit more of high pitched and you know, it doesn't sound as rough because mm. we're we've gone past that hip hop stage. Yeah, we have. You know, we're like I, I've got to deal with this because I'm still stuck in the nineties, but we have moved past that mm. on, on, on a very large scale. So the instruments may sound different, but mm. if we just break it down to what they're talking about. I'm pretty sure we'll find that they're both talking about flossing, which, you know, they're both talking about stunting their riches. They're both talking about things where's bad, but now things are good. Yeah. They're both talking about we've got people in the roles that will do certain things. They're mm. both talking about the fact that they've had to do certain things in their past to get to somewhere. And they both talk about relationships that will go wrong or girls that they've done things with. Yeah. So why? Why is yeah. it at this day and age we can't take someone for the fact that they just make good music without saying, oh, you've made a love song and you're a rapper, that means you're only for the girls. Mm. Where does that leave someone? Like, this is half of the reason I don't like writing love poetry. It's because people are just going to be want like... That to be you don't thing want that, that people, to be the defining factor. Yeah. Which is so wrong because... You don't want to be pigeonholed by but, but, being interested in one thing yeah, for a while. But that's, that's, but that's one of the only subjects that you can mm. do where if you do it more than twice or something, you instantly get pigeonholed. They're associated yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. Whereas you could, like, someone else, like, could chat as much shit about something as they want mm. and they won't be pigeonholed as just that artist or, mm. you know, like, I don't know, that, like, what, what, I what's the a... thing as well that um, he's been more accepted commercially as well and yeah. I think because he's, more leaning towards pop yeah. than a lot of other people. Yeah. And you tend to think of pop as being like pandering love songs. That's what the vast majority of pop is. Yeah. Um, I think maybe that makes people think of him that way as well. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. Well, so we, I, I agree with you. Obviously, I don't listen to Drake, but yeah. I do think it's a problem that... I, in, in general, I think it's a problem that why are you not allowed to sing maybe about what the fuck you want to sing about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in, in general, being... whatever it is, you should yeah, be able yeah, to yeah. sing about yeah. whatever you want to sing about. Yeah. If it's something that people entirely disagree with, then it's going to be a problem for your career. Yeah. If it is just a matter of opinion, then so what if he's got a mostly female audience? Yeah. If you like it, you like it. Who gives yeah. a fuck? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I think, think, I think, I don't think at think the end of the day, I think he was. I think people just say that. I, I, I actually mm. think that. I mean, I just feel like more men listen to Drake that yeah. they like to and I love Drake man I can't lie man. <laughs> I, I think Drake is sick I think yeah. he is sick and like one of the reasons I think he's sick and this is sometimes I, I will put him on top of um, Kendrick and, um, and J. Cole for this not so much J. Cole actually but on top of Kendrick for the fact that he can talk about love in, mm. a, in a way where it's not breaking too much of a mould and it's not too like for me it's not too cheesy I think it's just very real stuff like yeah. Whereas Kendrick Lamar doesn't really do love songs. Hmm. You know, like, I haven't got, like, no. you know, J. Cole does it great. J. J. Cole's got, like, uh, what's this, what's that song is about the first time he lost his virginity? Uh, I never did this before, no. So he's talking about him and this girl he had a crush with in school. Yeah. And they're just like, it's about the story of them losing their virginity. And he's trying to play cool. Like, he's lost it before, but he hasn't. Mm. And then it gets to the point where they're both about to do it. And she's like, well, actually, I haven't, I haven't done this before. Mm. You know, go easy to me. And he's like, oh, no, have I. And it's like, you know, it's, it is, yeah. it's cute. It's that's beautiful. That's quite an interesting thing. It is. That's, that's quite a, like, taboo thing to do in a hip-hop yeah. song as well. So why doesn't more people, really? more people should do that, though? Yeah. And yeah. So that's, that's, that's what I just want to say. I think more people should... Uh, be less scared to do love songs and people who do love songs shouldn't just be pigeonholed as only as, doing yeah. love songs. Or, 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 even if all they do is love songs, that doesn't that mean it's be just for the girls. Yeah. yeah, no, it shouldn't mean that it's just for the girls. Like, why can't men enjoy love? What the fuck's yeah. that about? Like, yeah. Well, like that, that's, that's another thing. Like, that's just a whole yeah. different thing. But yeah, that, that, um, thing, that's a good place to leave it, I think. Yeah. Um, have you got any shout outs? Yeah, man, I'm gonna shout myself out. Uh, I, I may, I may have one point of told people about this EP I'm bringing out. Uh, I'm gonna have a promo video for my uh, YouTube. So once you've finished listening to this, hop on over to my YouTube forward slash Mr Souls. Oh, it's Mr S G Souls, which looks a little bit like Mrs G Souls. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> I generally find that funny. Uh, it's gonna be a spoken word rendition of one of my pieces, uh, one of my songs. Um, just to show you the poetry of rap. 
And there you go. So shout me out there. Shout out to yourself. Welcome. You, you yeah. could have done that as a separate one and still shout someone out, but fine. No, fuck everyone else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck everyone else. Um, who am I going to shout out? I don't know. Oh, you're just no. talking about music. I don't really have anything that links to the two things we've been talking about. So I'm just going to shout out something that I like that came out recently. Mm. So that's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that? so the Mountain Goats new album Goths oh. came out recently. It's really good. Um, it is entirely about like goth bands and stuff like that it's really good oh cool like there's just a lot of references to like I like Euro the name man Susie and, Susie the and mountain the goats the mountain goats great yeah they don't have that wise he's, he's one bloke one Te- bloke technically it's one guy oh, um, right. John Darnell um, yeah but uh, he obviously has a band when he performs but originally he just wrote does everything any of them have a grandmaster band um, I don't think so then, they don't have, they're not billy goats they're mountain goats no it doesn't matter billy goats have those beards no it doesn't matter you have to you have to wear gold in your name you, then you have to have those like beard. yeah no, no. that's so. why the beatles all had like big shells on their back and could fly so yeah um yeah so check out the album goths it's really good it's nice it's uh, sort of more jazzy than uh, some of their other stuff they're mostly like a folky band but he cool. wrote a lot of this on the piano because he was looking after his son while he wrote it I think he oh. said um, and it's easier to play the yeah, piano yeah, while you're looking yeah. after a kid than to play the guitar um, so check that out with the guitar. Um, if you want to listen to you've already said about your stuff but yeah Miss, was it Mrs. G Souls now yeah, Mr. you changed G. your SoundCloud no 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 it's still Mr. Souls it's oh. just the YouTube is, oh the YouTube is YouTube Mr. G is Mr. Souls Mr. Mi- Mr. Uh, Mr. SG Souls, which but SoundCloud is still Mr. Souls S O L S. Everything else is Mr. Souls. Okay. It's just YouTube. It's just, just YouTube. YouTube. Uh, if you want to hear more of me, you can go on YouTube and search Renegade Pineapple. And if you want to hear more about the podcast, you can follow us on Instagram, both as a podcast account and each of us individually. Uh, you can like and subscribe and comment about what we've been talking about on YouTube, SoundCloud, and our Facebook. Uh, or you can email us at a wonderful waste of email at gmail.com. You can leave us a review on iTunes and give us a good star rating. You can tell all your friends about us. And that. what's your question of the day? My question of the day is clearly I'm just stalling until I get one. So down. you can really think yeah, of a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is actually if you was to live in any, I, I want to say animation, but just any different world, mm. which one would it be? What film and why? You what? live there permanently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. It's, this isn't a. Goal. We, we've talked about the top vi- five locations. No, to there's no visit. visiting. There's no visiting. You'll have to. This yeah, is you're there forever. You're migrating. You're migrating. You're, you're a part of it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm, you may even visually change as well. Oh, you're going to become like the you art become, style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, cool. Which, which you know, it doesn't have to be a cartoon, but yeah, yeah, nice. Like the Hunger Games, right? I'm, I'm no. interested. No, you, you wouldn't be interested. What a fucking dumb place to have decided to live forever. A place where you oh, could no, no. possibly <laughs> be entered into a tournament to die. Okay. Also, well, even you if go. you're not entered there into you it, go. you're still in a world where kids there, have to there, enter a okay, tournament well, there to you die. Go, but they all look funky as hell. What's your reasoning, got right? Got style, I suppose. Still rather. But that's only if mind. that's only if you live in the center. If you live anything outside of the center, you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. I don't know, first, first three, I guess you're okay, but <laughs> you don't want to be in District 7. <laughs> <laughs> you could also live in District 9 with the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for this podcast. Uh, we'll see you next week where we're doing a special one, so you should go and watch it on our YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube and uh, look out for the next week's special one where we're going to be creating something. Instead of talking about things, we're going to create our own thing based on all the things we've talked about. Whoa. Mag- magnificent. See you next week. Goodbye. Magnificent. Mag- magnificent. <laughs> it's a wonderful...